Hello, this is Adam from MindForge Technologies. Uh, today I'm going to show you how disk images work and how you can use them to do some different things. And, uh, and I guess that's really it. So we'll be using two pieces of software called ImageBurn and uh, Virtual Clone Drive. So one of them is for making images or turning an image into a disk. Um, the other one is for making your operating system think that a fake image is actually a real disk. Um, so a disk image is basically a virtual copy of a real disk. And uh, this is useful for, for many things, the most obvious one being if you want to install an operating system, uh, such as Ubuntu, a free one, um, that you can download off of the internet, then you'll have to download a digital image of the disk and then turn it into a real disk to actually do your installation. So this is the ImageBurn website, it's imgburn.com and uh, when you go there, you just want to click download and then choose a place to actually download it from. It doesn't really matter. I always just go with the first. And then be careful here because this is actually an advertisement. So you want to make sure you're clicking on this download button. I've already downloaded it, so I will just close it from here. Um, you'll also see then Slysoft is the maker of Virtual Clone Drive. And so if you just do a Google search for Virtual Clone Drive, you'll find it or you can go to this website. Um, so you'll click download. Scroll down, they have other software. Um, virtual Clone Drive is freeware, and so just click that and uh, and begin your download. So these are our two setup files for those pieces of software. We'll start with ImageBurn. So you'll install it just like usual, um, choosing however you, whatever your preferences are for these different options. And I already have an installation, which is why it's asking me this. It shouldn't ask you that and uh, then we'll run it so you can see what it does. So I've already put in a disk um, into my real CD drive, which you can see here. It's an Xubuntu CD um, for installing Xubuntu onto the, onto the computer. And so what I want to do is make a disk image, so make, make a virtual copy of this real disk. So to do that, you can see in Image Burn, it gives you several different options. Um, the two that we're looking at are write image file to disk and create image file from disk. So since we want, since we already have a disk and we want an image file, we're going to choose this option. It's going to give us a source and a destination. So the source is going to, it already found, is uh, the real CD drive, drive D, and that's the uh, Xubuntu disk. And you want to tell it where to go. Um, I just put it on the desktop because that's the easiest to find. And after after you have this set up the way you want, uh, you just hit this and it will start going. So it won't take very long. Um, while that's going, we will set up a virtual clone drive. So this allows you to take a disk image and make your computer think that it's a real disk. And so when you're installing it, it'll ask you what kind of files you want it to recognize as a disk and so since we're using an ISO I'll just go ahead and check ISO and .img those are the oh that's the image burn music for a sort of something successfully happening uh, which is a little obnoxious but you can turn it off if you want to uh, so that's now done so we can close this and you can see on our desktop we have our image.iso file so this is our copy of Xubuntu only in digital format so back to virtual clone drive um, I'm just going to choose the .iso and .img files and it's going to install there, you can change that if you want to and that's that. So um, after this it's going to give you a warning because uh, this software is not checked out by Microsoft and so I would just hit continue but if you're at all worried don't and uh, and that's it. So now we have virtual clone drive and our disk image. So we can go ahead and close this, and we can launch Virtual Clone Drive. You can also do it from your Start menu, um, under Elaborate Bytes, Virtual Clone Drive, and Virtual Clone Drive. So this is going to ask you how many fake drives you want. I'll just say two so you can see. Um, really, you only need one, but you can see you can have up to 15. And uh, Virtual Sheep is going to add this icon to your drive so that you know that it's a fake drive and not your real one. And uh, you can see there's some other options that you can look at on your own. So now if we go into my computer where your disk drive normally is, you can see this is the real disk drive and these are our two fake ones with this little sheep virtual clone drive logo. And so now we want to actually load our disk image into this fake disk drive to make 
Windows XP think that you're loading a real disk. So if you right click on it, then go up to virtual clone drive and mount. So mount is basically putting the image file into uh, the fake, well, into the fake uh, CD drive. And so you'll click mount and choose which file you want. Um, so it's just image.iso is what we're using. Open. And now you can see we have the same thing here as we do here. And we even get the automatic startup that comes with this CD, giving you the options. So now we've made a fake CD from a real one and put it into a fake CD drive. Um, by the way, if you want to get rid of it, then you can just go back into Virtual Clone Drive VCD and unmount, and it will um, get rid of that disk again. To go the other way around, you would do basically the same thing. You'd go back into Image Burn, and now you want to write an image file to a disk. This is what you would do if you downloaded Ubuntu from the internet and wanted to make a disk to actually install from. And you would just do the same thing. You would select your source, which would now be this image file. And then you would select a destination, which would be a blank CD in your disk drive. And that would be it. Uh, so that was kind of the nuts and bolts of how uh, disk images work and what you can do with them. Um, and again, this is Adam from MindForge Technologies. Uh, thank you for watching.